thousand times more paranoia back on a specific day that I want to take you back to. It was the 13th of October, 2022, and I was driving to the salon with my mother and my sister. And I had to look absolutely good. It was a big day ahead for me. And you might have guessed it right. It was my wedding day. It was four hours into the event. I had just, in the nick of time, I decided my salon. And upon reaching that salon, I spoke to the receptionist and she looked at me from top to bottom, scanning me. And she said, well, you look like the bride. And I said, well, yes, I am. And she said, well, that won't work. You haven't, you haven't taken an appointment for the bridal package. I said, well, yes, I haven't. It's because I don't need that kind of a makeup. Uh, but she said, well, that won't work because we don't offer brides that kind of a package. You're going to have to get the bridal package nonetheless. Well, the argument went on. She didn't step back from her standing and neither did I. I didn't want to pay an extra 20,000. So I stormed out. I didn't know what to do. Did this day get any worse? Did my paranoia get any worse? And then it did. The car broke down. Damn it. What do I do now? I called up my friend. Luckily he was around. He gave me his car and we drove ahead. All the while we're trying to dial numbers to some salon, some makeup artist and until I, I called up another friend and well, she was a home-based artist and she wasn't available. Damn it, what do I do now? It's just three hours to the wedding. Luckily, my mom had just made a new friend. It was a nearby salon and she called her up and that auntie was super nice. She said, we'll bring her in, we're gonna get her ready in no time. And I was like, yes, I'm finally getting some hope from out of this day. So the day went on, I looked absolutely great, I suppose. The pictures say so. Went with full Zealand test. But looking back at that day, that reminds me, could I have looked as good if it weren't for that friend who brought me that car? If it weren't for that call that my mother made to her friend, it wouldn't have been possible for me. It would not have been possible for me to look good all on my own. And that is when it hit me. My success can never be my own. It comes from the inputs of the key players that are playing an important part in my life every day. They are your support system. They are your parents. They are your friends. They can be your spouse. They can be other members of the family. They can be your mentors. They could be your teachers. They can be anyone at all. And they can help you in ways like giving you some gifts, giving you an inspiring conversation, removing a roadblock from your way, and it can also come in the form of life-changing advice. With that, let me take you a few years back. May 2015, my father had died six months ago and I was faced with a big challenge. I had to choose the right kind of degree and the right kind of educational institution for my higher education. And just like any kid's childhood idol, my father was my childhood idol. And I used to discuss, ev discuss everything with him. With him not around, it was definitely a bigger challenge than normal. So I went by my exams. It was my A-levels. And on, my, on the last day of my A-levels, my best friend's father came up to me and he said, Make up, do whatever you like. But let me tell you something, the future is in technology. No matter what you do, 
pick something that has technology in it. And even though I didn't like it at that time, my mom forced me to take that advice. <laughs> and I'm super glad that I did. Because you're looking at somebody who's five years into the corporate sector, working in Pakistan's leading IT company, and standing here in front of you delivering a godforsaken speech. That wouldn't have been possible without his advice. So that reinforced my belief in to the fact that you're, you're nothing good without your support, support system. Kelly Clarkson once said, my support system is somebody who tells me what I need, not what I want. That's exactly what my support system did for me. Now, I want you all to close your eyes and imagine, identify, realize, and appreciate your support system. It can be your mom, it can be your dad, it can be your siblings, it can be your spouse, it can be your best friend, it could be a strict teacher. They are your pillars of success. And they need to be appreciated as much as you need to be appreciated for your success. And with that, I leave you that today, 